Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we're just doing a nice, simple, sit down, chatty, get ready with me. Um, I've been up since stupid o'clock in agony. I am shattered, um, but I've got some new things to try. So uh, let's jump on right in. I am first just going to take the ordinary uh, high, high adherence silicone primer. Um, I know I love this one and I'm trying out a new foundation. So let's pop a bit of this on oh crikey let's get this hair out of the way excuse the state of my skin um as any of you that watch my videos usually know um i have costochondritis um which is extremely painful and uh, seems to have messed up my skin as much as my sanity <laughs> so excuse the state of it um but it's definitely going to put this uh, new foundation to the test because uh it has some uh, it has a lot to cover <laughs> um so yeah i do like this uh this primer I find that all of my foundations seem to go on really nice on top of it. So the first thing we have to try is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Um, apparently it lasts up to 24 hours, mattifying, water and sweat proof, second skin effect. Um, I'm not going to be able to tell you if it's sweat proof um, because I'm not moving much at the moment because it hurts, but it comes in a, a dropper. So I'm guessing I just drop ooh, a bit of this on my hand. Oh, it's quite runny. I don't know how well you can see that. No, no, whatever. So it's quite runny. Um, let's get the hair out of my face and let's see what she does oh, okay i got the color pretty good not bad for online shopping eh well it seems to be going on quite nice And the coverage does appear to be pretty good. I don't think anything is going to cover this, so you're just going to have to excuse that. So what have you guys been up to? Um, I've not been up to much. Uh, mainly sitting on my sofa feeling sorry for myself um, because... Um, most movements hurt <laughs> so let me know what you guys have been up to it'd be nice to uh hear well anything really <laughs> is i have been bored out of my tiny little mind and uh Being in pain all the time, pretty much, is not much fun. Well, first impressions on this. Hmm, what do you think? I think that is quite nice. I think it's definitely done a pretty good job of covering up the uh, issues, shall we call them? And, uh, ooh, huh? oh dear, I'm so sorry. Um, away with the fairies on painkillers so if i come out with random stuff 
then apologies but it is what it is at the moment um let's have a bit of a closer look that's not sitting too bad it'd help if i uh blended it out a bit better around here not bad at all yeah really happy with that so far so very first impressions obviously uh depends how it wears um but next i have the catrice liquid camouflage high coverage concealer so let's see if this i'm gonna put Couple of bits there, a bits there, and a couple of bits there. Get the hair out of the way. And basically, try and conceal anything I don't want to see. Um, which at the moment is my whole face. I don't think it's going to do that for me. <laughs> um, Seems to be a nice colour match. So let's see how she blends. Hopefully, well, because I've just plonked this all over my face. Okay. Hmm. I wouldn't say it was the best coverage, but it's gone on pretty nice. Copies off. Let's see what it's like around the eyes. And blend it over there. Okay. Well, it blends nice. Put it on my eyelash. I don't think it makes a very good mascara. It's not done a bad job at all actually not bad at all so yeah i'm pretty happy with both the foundation and concealer i think uh, i did all right on the color matching online which uh, i'm obviously getting better at it obviously obviously not obviously really is it um i don't know what i'm talking about so yeah it feels ever so slightly tacky still in a couple of places so i am going to stick a little bit of powder on um i don't think i need much but then this is me um so i'm going to use the rcma no color powder um because well this is my favorite um I've not found one yet that I like more. So just gonna pop a bit of that on. See how that goes over the top. The tiniest bit under the eyes, as uh, otherwise I shall be crease central. Just quickly going to do my eyebrows. I'll whiz you through this. I'm just using the uh, Revolution Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Um, it seems to be drying up. I don't know uh, how well you can see. But yeah, it seems to be drying up. Not so happy about that. But I'll, uh, I'll whiz you through this bit and then we will crack on. 
Okay, so I think that's about as good as they are going to get today. We're just not going to talk about it. Just ignore the eyebrows and uh, we shall move on. Um, for eyes, um, I have been dying to try this. I got this for my birthday. I'm no longer going to say who it came from because I got the last one wrong. My daughter got me the Sample Beauty Equalizer Palette. My mum got me the um, Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons and the Book of Magic. Um, so yeah, from now on I'll just say it was a birthday present. So this was a birthday present. And I have been dying to try Alamar Cosmetics for such a long time. And this is the Spanglish palette. And this, I don't know how well we can do this without blinding you with mirror. These are the colours. So, yeah, I'm uh, interested to see what the quality is like. Because I have had so many people raving about Alamar Cosmetics. This is one downside to being, or one of the downsides to being in the UK, is shipping from America can work out quite expensive once you take into account customs. Um, I'm just using, sorry, the uh, Elf Putty Eye Primer in cream. I've been quite enjoying this one, so I thought, why not just stick with it, especially as we're trying a new eyeshadow. So yeah, <laughs> that's that. Um, so yeah, I was really lucky, I got some really nice things for my birthday. Unfortunately, um, due to being struck down with this uh, costochondritis, um, I couldn't really do much. Um, I spent most of the time kind of sat on the sofa, which is how I spend the majority of my life at the moment. Um, not loving it, but not much I can do about it. The doctor has put me on stronger painkillers and anti-inflammatories. Um, a little bit more bearable bearable um yeah just doing one of these videos takes me what, what would usually take me about half an hour it takes me three to four hours uh with all the breaks that i have to take because you do not want to see be i can't speak you do not want to see me sat here wincing in pain that is not a pretty sight trust me so Let's move on and try out the Spanglish palette. So, what do I want to do? Should I just... I'm thinking, actually, I'm going to do more of an, like an orangey-brown look. Because I can imagine... Oh, well, the looks I've seen have all been the purpley-pinky ones. So, I'm going to go into my crease with... I think it's ya 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 you pronounce that? And then into my outer V with... We excited this one down here and then on my lid with this one up here which is pero like um yeah if i need to blend out i'll use this i k cute <laughs> this shade here um which i clearly can't pronounce butchering pronunciation as per usual so I am going to take just a, hmm, do I want that one? Do I want that one? Let's take this. This is just a Jess Up Luxe Soft Definer um, to dip into that ya ya ya. And I'm going to go into my crease. With that, oh, okay. Watch the pigment, she's pigmented. Okay, 
blends out beautiful. Okay. I'm just going to do a nice simple look today. Is uh, I'm very, very tired and I don't fancy doing anything uh, too much. Yeah, it's been quite a, a scary time actually because uh, I was just sat taking my makeup off one evening and uh, at first I thought I had heartburn then the, the pain just got so bad it was like someone was like squeezing inside my chest and it it was awful so I phoned 111 just like our emergency doctor kind of service for those of you not in the UK and uh, they sent an ambulance out um, I'm not good with uh, anything hospital paramedic anything related not good um, let me just grab a, another brush just to do the outer V you will do you do yeah little look looks lux pencil from Zoeva um just into that we excited um so yeah the the ambulance came out um did the ECG and whatever um and wanted to take me into hospital but <laughs> silly here got scared and wouldn't go and decided it would be a great idea to try and go to work the next morning to which I got driven home um it wasn't my best idea but I was scared because uh they they thought I'd had a heart attack at this point so uh I was freaking um so i got my my boyfriend to dog care to uh take me up to the hospital and after well <laughs> they had to partially sedate me to get the blood tests and I had to have an x-ray etc they managed to rule out um heart attack which was good however the bloods showed up abnormalities not so good um and they said these could indicate a pulmonary embolism and that i needed to come back for a scan that included uh putting a drip in and pumping me full of this kind of radioactive dye stuff that would show up my veins on a scan. Um, again, had to be quite drugged up for them to be able to do it because I am not an easy patient. <laughs> um, I think at one point, I think one of the nurses that was uh, trying to get uh, the cannula in, um, I told her I thought she was trying to kill me <laughs> so uh, yeah it was uh, it was quite a freaky freaky time um, anyway the results came back as a negative again good um, so we were left with what is it um, so the emergency doctor, after more questioning, checking, etc., um, 
and diagnosed me with this costochondritis. I had never heard of it. I don't know about any of you guys, but it took me ages just to kind of learn how to say it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically what it is, is an inflammation of the cartilage where the ribs join the sternum and certain movements um breathing in too deeply and like that, it like aggravates it and it creates this pain that mimics that of a heart attack is uh well, i can describe and apparently 30 percent of people who are um taken into hospital with suspected heart attack actually have costochondritis so it's it's not so rare at all yet no one seems to have heard of it which is bizarre but there we go so yeah <laughs> um since the diagnosis i have just yeah been in pain day in day out driving me nuts this however is keeping me sane i don't know why i'm using my finger I never use my finger to do um shimmers but today i am and i'm i'm going in with that perro like And, uh, oh, okay. That is really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. The dog hair on my eyelash. Oh, I really, really like that. It's got like a an orange to gold shift in it. Nice. Okay, I'm starting to see what all the hype was about. I did not pick the best way to apply. Or maybe I did. Get it everywhere. But yeah, this is this is pretty wow like a, a yellowy gold to to orange shift beautiful i'm impressed the dog's not ain't nothing new there She's finished so just going back in a little bit more with that more excited the uh, that one if poppy is gonna shut up I'm just gonna put a bit more to deepen up the outer V there And then just a little bit under the eye there. I shall smoke that out with the other brush in a moment. I'm liking this. This is just the one that I... Uh, brush I used for the brown just attacking my eyes with that um just going to take what tiny little brush can I take yep use that one for in a corner I like I'm just gonna take the Jessup detail shader little brush and just take a little bit of that pero like and just pop that oh, this is so pretty and it's even applying beautifully with a brush
Wow. Very much else I can say. Wow. That is nice. Just gonna finesse here a bit. A bit higher. And then back in with that one. Okay. I'm quite happy with that actually. <laughs> quite a neutral look for me, but I like the shift in that that orange shimmer. Right, let's put these away. Hmm. Yeah, I like that quite a lot. I'm just going to shimmy on off the camera to do liner and lashes and I'll come back to finish the face with you. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so liner and lashes done. Um, the mascara I used was just the Barry M That's How I Roll. I'm uh, quite liking that one. Um, in my waterline I've got the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Go Green. And for my lashes, the liner is the Catitude 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive from Artitude Cosmetics. This is amazing. If it wasn't for this, you guys wouldn't be seeing me with lashes on at the moment. Um, because I don't have the energy to faff around with glue. And this is amazing. And it's a really nice eyeliner too, really black. Um, the eyelashes I have on are in the style Pixie. They are from Makeup by Lisa. Um, I didn't want anything too over dramatic with this look. I just wanted to keep it nice and kind of flirty. Um, and I think these go really well. So let's move on. Do I want to contour? Yeah, let's contour a little bit. Um, I'm going to use my um, Roxy Revolution Contour and Highlight Palette and I'm just going to dip into this contour shade here and just kind of create a bit of shape in my face. I quite like this one. Don't want too much. I just want to wake wake myself up a bit, shape myself up a bit. Again, away with the fairies on painkillers. So, apologies. But it is what it is. It's just a little bit around the edge here. I'm really liking this foundation. The concealer's not bad. I quite like it. Foundation in the hair. The foundation's really nice. and get rid of this uh, double chin which bizarrely considering I'm sitting still the majority of the time I appear to be losing some weight maybe because uh, I can't get up to get food very much so yeah there's that <laughs> It might do me some good. Although still I wish it would go away. <laughs> I'm sick of being in pain now. This is not my idea of fun. Um, right. For blush. For blush. I think. Oh. I'm thinking lipstick already. Right, for blush. <laughs> Shut up, Steph. Um, I'm going to go in with Confection. 
out of my I Heart Revolution Marshmallow palette. And let's grab a brush. Hmm. Yeah, I think this colour goes quite nicely. I haven't got my ring lights set up yet because um, I haven't had the energy to do it. So you are still stuck with the same grappy lighting. Well, I say crappy, it's natural lighting. Natural lighting is good. Um, but yeah, you're still stuck with the same lighting at the moment. Um, for highlight. Ooh, for highlight. Hmm. Shall we go into... Let's try out one of these. I'm going to use this one. Out of the Revolution and Roxy, Roxaurus, whatever her name is, out of this one. So let's have a look and see what this looks like. I've changed my mind. I have changed my mind. I'm going to go in with Rodeo Drive by Ofra, which is one of my go-tos. And uh, you will see why in a second. There we go. I like that palette for the uh, contour shades. Um, but the the highlighters just aren't where it's at. This, however, is nearly went into the palette I'm in. I'm holding at the. I can't speak. I'm just gonna shut up. All right, let's just give it a dusting over to blend it with the. Blush. Beautiful. I do love this. Really, really love this. Why did I put that one away? I need that brush. Um, I'm going to use the same Rodeo Drive um, for my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. Yes. That was the right choice. And a little bit up there. And a little bit up there. This is such a nice highlighter. Hmm, now lipstick. Do I want to go darker or neutral? I think I've changed my mind and I want to go neutral. I was going to go with Old Fashioned by Melt, which is a darker brown. But I'm thinking on the go i think this is going to go much better so this is the melt matte lipstick in the shade on the go so let's see got hair on it how have i got a hair on it and the dog has not been in that drawer they get everywhere Yes, very nice. 
I'm liking it. These uh, earrings, by the way, are from Amy's Accessories. I uh, I found her on Depop, and uh, I really like these. So uh, I'll uh, link her Instagram in the box below or her details. Um, check her out. I've picked up a couple of pairs of earrings from her and I'm loving them. Wouldn't usually uh, advertise anything other than makeup on my channel, but I'm really enjoying these. So yeah. <laughs> So if you've managed to get to the end of this video, well done, <laughs> because uh, I have rambled and rambled on some, I think. I can't actually remember. Um, I'm sure I'll find out when I'm trying to edit this. Could be interesting. We'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this. I have. Um, but yeah, um, I am trying to get as much filmed as I can, like I said before, um, the pain is, is bad most of the time, so finding a time when the painkillers have kicked in and I am able to sit and do something, um, is tricky, but I am doing my best to get up as much as possible. Um, so yeah, what do I think of everything? The eyeshadow palette, I'm loving. Foundation, I'm loving. Um, concealer's all right. I've had better, but concealer's all right. So fingers crossed, if this foundation stays put, looking like this, for the rest of the day, I think I might have found a new favourite, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Right, so enough rambling, Steph. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new here, hi, welcome. Um, I'm not usually quite so away with the fairies, um, but I am at the moment, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> But if you're new, I hope you'll consider sticking around and um, hitting the subscribe button. It'd be great to have you join us. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. If you've liked this, please give the video a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.